And now Rose Zhang, if you go back to May at Greyhawk, she was four back going into the final round, trying to win her second straight NCAA championship. Bigger stage, better <laughs> players, but she's won from in front, she's won from behind. We'll see, six back. Just that little bit of difference yes. gives her the better look, right? Without question. Yeah. That moves her into the top 10. So an eagle to finish Saturday, a birdie to begin Sunday, and Rose Zhang is five off the lead. Very good throughout her amateur career at putting the ball in the correct place on the green. It's fine, it's just gonna leave a large breaking putt from right to left up the hill. Up at the second, let's see this birdie putt for Rose Zhang. Look out, Rose Zhang is two for two today, trying to go two for two as a pro. How about this? What an escape from Jenny Shin. This is going to get even better. Now watch, should come a little. How about this? More to the left. Incredible from Jenny Shin from a tough spot. Long putt here for Shi Yu Lin at the third. And it's just kind of, I wouldn't say it's a ball, but right there it goes downhill to the hole. And that'll help. That was speedy down there. She wouldn't <laughs> want to miss the, miss the hole, but she'll take the birdie. Good starts for Shi Yu Lin and Rose Zhang. They're at four. This is Lin. Looks like she may have been trying to play a fade into this whole location. Oh, oh, faded it in. Look out for Shi Yu Lin. Tracking, tracking. There it is. Yes. Oh, yeah. Shi Yu Lin with three birdies in the first five holes on Sunday, and she moves. Two five under par with now Saganda for a birdie at nine. Across the green here. And is that gonna drop? Oh, wow. Look out. This is some front nine from Carlotta Saganda. She's gone out in 30, gets it to four under par. She's feeling it. Oof. Yes. Well, and Another for Saganda. Nana Kurt Madsen, the Dane. And that eighth is receptive today. This is her third. Good lie from the rough uphill lie. Oh, yeah. God. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Wild day, a double at one, but a couple of birdies now. Here is our defending champion, NG Chun, at the 16th. Good to see NG back and healthy again after battling through some injuries. And she made an ace at the Chevron Championship that led to a million dollar donation. It really does the same here. It's like she walks through water. It's kind of slow motion. It feels very controlled, but relaxed. Okay, that one drops. She's still in this. Had a couple of birdies to start the day. Missed by just a fraction at three. The same at four. Makes the birdie at seven. This is Rose Zhang just a moment ago at the eighth to get within two. Yeah. 
She looked concerned. She shouldn't be. She's made another birdie. Rose Zhang, four under through eight, and two shots off the lead. Xu Yulin, this would be a big day for her if she were to get the victory. It's been something she's been trying to do on the LPGA, coming so close. Last week was another example. And we'll work this one in left to right. Beautiful fade coming into this whole location. That's really yes. good. You can very comfortably hit that shot shape. Good chance here for Shi Yu Lin. This would be to tie the lead. And she's got it. What a front nine for Shi Yu Lin. Five birdies. And she is tied for the lead in a major championship. Lynn Grant back on the LPGA Tour just turned 24 this past Tuesday from Sweden. She had been unable to travel into the United States due to being unvaccinated against COVID. However, that uh, policy was changed by the U.S. government in May. And so an eagle finish for her in a final round 69. Second shot for Zhang at 14. And it's an eight iron. A very friendly looking hole location. These players, there's a nice slope to the behind the hole that catches it. All over it again. Uh, this to get back to six under. You saw how quickly Lynn's ball traveled after the hole. This is going to be that same slope at the hole breaking to the right. And there is the bounce back by Zhang to get back within a shot. The 13th yen for birdie. Is a winner this year, kind of surprised a lot of people with the first uh, victory at Palos Verdes in California. 20-year-old Ronin Yin in her second at the 14th, one back. Running such an aggressive iron player. She's so solid with these clubs. So you get two Chinese players near the top of the leaderboard there. Shi Yu Lin hanging out of the one-shot lead. Ronin Yin staring down this birdie line. Right in the middle. So Ronin Yin moves up into a tie at the top. Casasso's third here, Paige. Very comfortable bunker shot. She can have it release all the way to the hole if she chooses to play it. Oh, what a shot by Yukasaso. All that is left for Birdie to post seven under and put herself in position for her second major title. Now Yuka Sasso in a putt and an up and down that could win the championship, we'll see, but seven under. Ronin Yin back behind her at 18, drove it in that thick rough, and so it gave Yuka an opportunity. 66, final round close. So she's tied with Ronin Yin behind her, and this is the second. Just a nasty lie deep in the rough, needs 100 yards to clear the water. Oh, and she caught it solidly. That will be no problem. Really well done. And with her natural fade that she likes to hit, able to be steep with that out of the rough and gouge it out. Well done. This third shot by Yin now from below this green at 18. Birdie here gets her to eight under. Just outside of 100 yards with this third shot, which plays a little uphill. Ball ever so slightly below her feet. Biggest shot of a young career. Sets up right below for a great possible 34. She's had a couple of near misses in the last few holes, but this is, this is the biggest part of her young career. Is that the winning putt? It just might be. Just 20 years old. 
She just turned professional a few years ago, and she won her first three starts in the China LPGA Tour. And so expected to have one of those great careers, and it could be starting off here at Baltus Raw with her first major. I just love to watch her play. She's a young, fiery competitor. Look at her. This pump, she knows what that means. She said, if my putting kicks in, I can win. She said that earlier in the week, the three putts. There's been numerous three putts for Ronin Yin all week long. Such an excellent ball striker. Those three putts cost her, but boy, she makes a huge birdie putt here at the last hole in the 72nd hole of a major at the age of 20. And she just might be the second woman from China to win a major. Oh, barely got off the ground. Skipped through the pond. She's on dry land. At least it appeared that way, Karen. And you can see that disappointment in that shot at that time. And that's just, just nerves. Let's take another look here. See what happens to this ball. Just catches it really thin, a little bit quick, doesn't quite keep the arms in front of her that she's been trying to do. And yes, the golf ball is on dry land. Just crushed. And they are all in at this 2023 KPMG Women's PGA Championship. Meadow with that tie for third, two back of Ronin Yin, the winner.